Okay, quick recording. Um, if you're a Kaspersky user like me, you may have just noticed this happen in the past hour or so with Ultra AV. Um, didn't know what it was, just found out that Kaspersky is kicking everyone to this software, just auto installed on my computer. Uh, I'm not okay with it, so I'm just going to show you how to install it real quick. So this is what you do. This is their website. They talk about it, but this is what you do. Um, you go to Google, type in Revo Uninstaller. You go to Revo Uninstaller, get the free version. Okay. So you just go to downloads, get the free version. You install it. It's going to come up with a little dialog box. There it is. I already have it installed and ready to go. Go in and once you install Revo Installer, you look for the software on your computer. Here it is. You click on it. Hit uninstall, right click uninstall or double click uninstall. It doesn't matter. I always like to create a restore point and say in case something goes wrong, always back up your data Hit continue. Let it do its thing. Eventually you'll finish. Here we go. It's going to bring up the regular installer for Ultra AV. So uninstall. It's going to say restart now. Don't do that. Hit restart later. You then go to advanced and hit scan. Select all. This is going to get rid of any registry values that are on your computer that references it. So next, it's going to say, hey, are you sure about doing that? Just hit yes. Is there any leftover files that are left by Ultra AV? Select all, hit finish. It's going to say, you sure you want to do that? Yes. And it's gone. Uh, you also want to uh, get rid of the Ultra VPN. Do that too. So like double click it, make it do its thing just like before. Let's uninstall. There it is, same thing, scan. All the registry values gone. Eh, any leftover files gone. And it's gone. Um, reboot your PC. You should be good to go after that point. Um, pretty much what's happening. U.S. government said that Kaspersky has to get out. Here's Kaspersky's press statement about it back in June the 20th of 2024. I wasn't really following it. I just discovered it because apparently Kaberski said that they sent email notifications about it. Last email notification I got about this was for them to switch to Bitdefender. Um, didn't do it. Um, got jump scared when I was playing my, um, playing some games about this just popping up because it made the command prompt pop up on my fucking computer. Didn't know what that shit was about. This is their website. If you look up the website domain, it's brand new pretty much. So I'm assuming this is just me being on the bright side that when the mandate came out or when everything got approved, they created a US domain, created a skeleton crew for uh, in here in the United States under Ultra AV and just is making people run it just hoping that no one's going to freak out, even though there's no mention other than the transition here that they are affiliated in any way, shape or form with Kaspersky.
I guess they can't because, again, it's a Russian-based company. Everybody knew the risk, but the software was good. But I don't consent to having just random uh, software installed and me not know anything about it or getting barely any information about it. So, yeah, that's the video. I'm going back to watching VTubers play Pokemon. Bye.